hi everyone welcome to java best practices series in this video we'll look into one more java best practice that is compare two strings by equals method instead of equality operator that is equal equal operator okay so i have seen many of the fresher or a new java programmer make a mistake they just use equality operator to compare two strings all right so in this video i am going to clarify why we should use equals method to compare two strings instead of equality operator we use equal equal operator to compare primitive types such as integer long double char etc and we use equals method to compare two objects in java and in case of string we are going, we use equals method to check the content of the string not the reference all right we use equal equal operator to compare the references of string object and we use equals method to check the content of two strings okay first i am going to demonstrate the difference between equals method and equality operator and then you will come to know that why we use equals method to compare two strings instead of equality operator all right let me switch to the eclipse id and let me demonstrate with an example so look at here the code snippet uh, here we have created a string objects uh, s1 object is created using string literal s2 object is created using string literal and s3 object is created using new operator or new keyword all right now we need to check the reference using equal equal operator and we need to check the content of two strings using dot equals method all right so if you look at the condition here s1 equal equal s2 so this will print a true because s1 and s2 both are pointing to the same uh, you know string object so if you know the string constant full right so string constant pool uh, is a special memory in a heap where basically jvm will store a string objects which is created by string literal okay for example look at here string s1 equals string so this object we have created using string literal so first jvm will store this object into a string constant pool because it is not already exist and it is first time we are creating the object and in a s2 we are creating the same object and jvm will check whether this string is already present in a string constant full or not if it is present then jvm will simply returns the reference of this object okay and it won't create a new object in a string constant full all right so remember uh, what is string constant full and how the jvm manages the strings to optimize uh, the performance or the memory all right so these are the basic concept you should know and in case of string s3 object we, we are created this object using new operator right so this object is already uh, always stored in a heap memory not in a string constant full okay and here we are checking s1 equal equal s3 as i mentioned earlier s1 and s2 both are pointing to the same object in a string constant pool and this should you know uh, return true and s1 equal equal s3 so this object is stored in a string constant pool and this object is stored in a heap memory so this s1 is pointing to the object which is stored in a string constant pool and s3 is pointing to the string object which is stored in a heap memory so both are different right so that's why this will print a false and s1 dot equals s2 so as i mentioned dot equals method we used to check the equality of two strings or the content of two strings and this will print true okay this will return true and s1 dot equals s3 so this also print true because we are checking the content of the object not the reference all right it's pretty simple uh, you might already know the difference between equal equal and dot equals method so just remember whenever you compare two strings then always try to use dot equals method okay great so let me run the program and let's see the output so look at here as i mentioned s1 equal equal s2 it prints true and s1 equal equal s2 it will 
you know return uh, false because both are referring to different uh, you know objects and s1 dot equals s2 so this should return true because contained of the both strings should be uh, uh, both uh, strings are equal and s3 s1 dot equals s3 so this should return true because both the content of the both object are same whenever you compare two strings always use dot equals method instead of equality operator all right i hope you found this java best practice useful subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you see you in the next video with another java best practice all right thanks